Alright guys, so the car is done. And another one checks the dust or the list or out of here. Been very smooth. And that's very nice. So yeah. I'm gonna finish that up today. Uh, like I said, I came in last night, uh, put the motor in, the only little things that I was missing to install, and some stuff that the customer took off, and I have to pass it back together. But yeah, she's running, AC is good, everything is good, and now I gotta go and check on the uh, Traverse, I think it is. We'll put a transmission on it and it's giving them a track traction control or a track something stability track or something like that i think it has to do something with the abs module but um but yeah so this one is done and i'm glad it's done so let me get this one out, take it for a spin, test drive, uh, get the uh, the traverse inside and uh, take a look into it and see what's going on. Alright guys, be right back. Alright guys, so hopefully you can pick this up. Uh, let's see. You can see this. So... Uh, refreshing. So basically, uh, let's see if I can get some uh, brightness out of this thing. Alright, so basically you can see this is the wheel speed sensors. Okay, we got four of them. They're all one. That's the speed that we are at right now. You see how that one jumped to five and the other ones were still steady. See how that moves? So that's the left rear speed sensor. This is the one that is acting out. Yesterday when I took it for a drive, I didn't do it, and now definitely is doing it. I just went about 45 miles an hour, and all of a sudden I started reading zero. So that's going to take us to uh, having to make out ABS, you got ABS and traction control on the dash on. So this is going to take us to having to replace that wheel bearing with the uh, speed sensor and hopefully that will take care of issue. Alright, keep you guys posted. Alright guys, so now we're taking this uh, wheel bearing out, we already took the wheel, the uh, caliper, okay, we gotta take the caliper off, um, let's see, there we go, we took the uh, caliper off, the uh, rotor and now we're going to be taking the uh, bearing itself um, let me see how we're going to play with this because the sensor is right there and uh, this is the wheel bearing and it has four bolts from the back side 
Um, that one, that one, and two others. So let me get that out of the way real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we got the old bearing out, which is that guy right there, with the sensor. Uh, you don't have to mess with any of this. You just unplug it from here, and the plug comes out through the hole. And the new one, you're gonna fit it the same way. So yeah. And again, the sensor goes on this side, so that way you can mix it up on how to go back on. So yeah. And let me go ahead and. Uh, Get this bad boy in there and again it's four uh bolts as you can see on the back side uh they're 13 millimeter uh the trick is on this very last one use a short uh socket the one that i have in in the socket right now use a short one for that one on the corner because of the shock that way you don't have to remove it and then the other ones you can use uh, long ones uh, break it loose and then you can use a drill or impact whatever you want to use on it but a short socket on, on this one in the corner all right guys we are back all right guys so everything is back on the plug is back on make sure you do that that's the back side do some anti-seize on the on the studs make sure that the brake is back on don't forget the little guy here. So I think it's a T30 or something like that. And now I'm ready to put the tire back on and take it for a spin. All right, we're back.